Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We just finished um, fighting the newest Lord's Summon. Oh. What is that? Apples or something? And branches? Anyway. Um, yeah, we're supposed to be chasing after her. I'm obviously going to heal up, though. It didn't really... I thought it would level us, because it wasn't really an easy battle. But that's okay. Um, let's watch this first. I still can't believe what that Almadria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah! There's no way she's getting away with this! Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Y yeah Okay. This. Where are we supposed to go after this? not poison, unfortunately. He's not a hero. Okay, so where are we supposed to go? So, oh, I need to... Teleport in here and maybe rest. We've reached our destination. Okay. Bye. I can only afford one. No, I don't want to purchase, I want to, I want to sell. Um... Battle chain bonus gauge. Where did strawberries from? Beef. You can have that. she keeps saying? What does she keep saying? I don't have- oh, okay. Get it. 
Cook, yes. Um... This should definitely keep you guys full. Potatoes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Head for the... Un oh, underground dock. Yeah? The ruins over here. Um, oh my gosh, I keep going one too far. Where's the. Is it in here? The ruin? Is it the lake or the ruins? Um, it's the ruins, I think. There it is, okay. Cool. Oh, should I? Let's teleport here. I might get some fighting in. Oh, actually. <sighs> Looks like we made it here in one piece. That might have been a bad idea, honestly. We're going after if we're going after her if we're going after her I really don't want I really don't want to do too much fighting because I'm gonna need all the strength I can for that we've reached our, um, our destination five life bottles. Does it tell me where I have my money? Twelve ninety-five. Mm -hmm. I... Can I forge new weapons? I don't have the money. Oh, that's it. I forgot I was going to buy another life bottle. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Sorry. Okay. This way? Yes. Hidden Wharf. A dead okay. end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. Windwell's Vendetta. My family and I, we spent all of our days just living and hiding. Until... Until one day when we were found and attacked. 
I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived. While the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... And then... It was Almadria who did it. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Probably. Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster. I wonder, do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? No. Rinwell. Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. <laughs> I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Ah. Aggressive making out. <laughs> Let's go. God, I hope she's not too hard to attack. I can't Ooh. believe there's actually an Just... underground harbor here. It's not. There are even boats. Oh, it is underground. I only see Danny's. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. Hello. Just give me a fishing spot. Okay. Okay. Is there anything up here? I can take? No. Thought there would have been something at the end of the wharf. We get to collect mackerel. <sighs> you didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? A lord. Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We're gonna go on. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her. You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Yes, please. Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there. You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. Okay. Yes, please. Let's just get on with it. I am ready. I really just want to keep going. Ooh. That's a big ship. Looks heavy. Didn't think we'd be going on an ocean adventure. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's okay. all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. 
Do you know if there are any demons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. <laughs> Just scoop me back out again. Oh. I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any <laughs> artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What? What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lanigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything. Though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously, but it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did, as utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? Yes. What Deadheim did to that city, he didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. <laughs> Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. What else is he gonna do? What a weird conversation. <gasps> There's she on. And he goes, oh, come on, I don't care about Rimmel. Do you think Law is okay? Mm -hmm. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. He's such a dad. I think maybe I should apologize to him too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Yes. Us too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. 
I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius, Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. Yep. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. It's not healthy, though. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well... I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <laughs> True. And if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. What do you mean? But, I guess... I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... Xion. <laughs> she can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Hmm. Much further, you'll go overboard. Just make keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship. I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... 
I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah. I think that would be good, too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen what? a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. We're gonna make out now. Bye, Josh. This poor guy. <laughs> you know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? <sighs> Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember, but then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. <sighs> You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. We are. That's so close, come on. Oh, it's gonna happen and I'm gonna be like screaming through the headset and you're all like, Rebecca! I'm like, sorry! <laughs> oh, I knew that moment would be worth it. Okay. So we're gonna find Law, Kisara. Oh, there's Law way over there. Okay. Kisara first, then Law. You don't look so good. Oh, no. Right? Oh, that would be the me. The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? A poor girl. I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? <laughs> I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niez was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. <laughs> it's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadheim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though... Maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. 
I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? There's no way you can go but back anyway. But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? <laughs> you and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? Oh my gosh. I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? My oh, poor girl. At least someone started to say it. Law. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. It pretty I much does. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still... Sometimes, I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not <laughs> the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. <laughs> I wonder okay. how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. Well, that's good. Mahaba. Oh. Rest. Might as well.
bit of a slower episode for sure. Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. What? That's massive. Are That's you kidding ship? me? She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Yes, Dad. Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Hmm. We're going on a ship. Another ship, that is. <sighs> Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. I can't wait to kill her. What is that? Hungry already, my dear. Worry not, for you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Oh, man. You're going to fight her and a monster? Come on. I hope I'm ready for this. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. Let's go. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. She was expecting us to overthrow her little beast that she set on us. Okay. Mobile Fortress Radio. I think we're not even going to get to see her in this episode, honestly. Like, to fight her. Because we're 37 minutes in and I've got to go through all of the ship to find her. Xion, um... I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Oh. oh, nice. Thank you. What's in here that you guys are guarding? It, huh? It's on. Bring them down! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Since the monkeys have had a fight! Here's Eva! Where are you going? Take this! Now! Ridwell! Astral energy! Go! Seems like Rinwell's finally coming to terms with everything. Maybe way. gonna be a bit of a better character, I think. Hi guys! Gotta break through! More my lord! Oh, 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 save you! Burn it hell! 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 No shield can stand up to these bits! Now we're not I see one, eh? No further! Fire for too strong! Then I'll split it open! Be like it! Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Our work is done here. Let's... okay. Let's move. I'm right behind you. Huh? Got it! Okay. So now she has a way of... 
absorbing it. Okay. <sighs> that went well. Are you okay? You're not too tired, are you? Nope. I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we have to go around to get it. Run, Buto. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's go back out. Um, there is this whole way back up here. I'm glad I gave you tomatoes in here. Monsters? No choice. <sighs> you take this. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, I hate these things. Nice. And again, Damn it. Too fast. I can carve through it up. Leave the chargers to me. Here's a Here I go. Get up. It's, it's over. If it's in the Don't sky, it's mine. The earth throbs in pain. Eat them. Swallow them. Don't leave. Hey. Nice. Blow them away. <laughs> you managed to pull through. Oh, nice. Thank you. I guess we better read this thing. Now that's what I call a ship. Yeah, the biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelzalik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case, it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere too? Yeah. I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out, now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea? She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd, and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one, indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, there's another one. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute... <laughs> that mask of yours... It was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although, to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. I want to know. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's <laughs> why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Interesting. Okay, so now that I've of course all the elevators are always offline. Okay. There's monsters over there. Um Hi. Here I oh, go! Here's Take the Yes. 
I know one. fine weapon material when I see it. Nice, ten thousand. Hi guys. Out of our way. I'll smash you. Uh, my shield. Take this. Dance in the wind. Uh, you think that shield will save you? I'll be ready. In a vine. Why did I do that? This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Air thrust. I know okay. fine weapon material when I see it. Oh, it's another one over here. Milk. I don't even see the fact that they're so perfect for each other. How do I get to there? Uh, so strange too. But they'd never even considered it. I haven't seen any owls in a long time. Gosh, he's got some health on him. Come on! Oh, 
Like well, look who's in a bright oh, and shiny key. mood. Never seen anything like it. It's an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an <laughs> elevator somewhere. We should test it out. All of that to get back to that elevator. I thought it was going to lead through, like, down stairs down or up. Level are we on? What's the thing? Are we on level one? Okay. Okay. Thirty eight. Holy cow. Hi, guys. Behind you, Shion. Um, anyone with health missing? Oh. Is this the campus stone is a collector? Okay. There, just some over here. Mushrooms. Whoa. Okay. Ugh. Go no further. I will spare you any mercy. You can't get it. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Hear me! Flame of Fury! Let the light on this! Here's a healing power! Here I come! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Oh! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Coming through! Nice! Ha! Melt! Scarlet Inferno! Here's a healing arm! Take Be ah! Just as well, I'm here to stop it. Healing circle! I'm okay. I'll bring you back to the dragon. Dragon swarm! Eagle assault! Now I'm in the group! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where are you going? Break in the door! Oh, we'll see what happened oh. there as you cross the oh, door. Oh, 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 oh man, done. come on. Take oh. The enemy wields our security. You'll soon see about that. Ow. Ow! 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 Why did I do that? I'll crush you! Ah! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Eat this! Will this help? Come on, a 
his what do you call it his attack thing a hard one victory something down there maybe Wait, this will make us even more formidable a magic and this looks nice and tough Okay, let's have a little look see. That's a good idea. Um What did I just get? I got a magic Magic emblem elemental attack is fifteen. Um that's gonna help her a lot. Okay. We seem to have come across something a little unusual. Yeah, should be right. I've got a really bad wrong. feeling about this. We're running out of CP. Look at that. How long can I keep up in the air? Done. What is interesting? Eggs? Okay. These don't seem like your run of the mill zoogles the remnants usually keep around. Indeed. I believe it's safe to assume these were used in her experiments. They certainly look as twisted as her. Even here. This okay. is. I remember seeing instruments just like this back in Estaluva. Right, here it goes! The rebel! Oh, you picked the wrong fight! Rip it! Confiscated! Mega Ray! Confiscate! Need law. Ow! No further. Nice. He's getting destroyed by people. Me. Take this. Oh my gosh, we're low on CP. I need a Take this. 
Come on. In a bind. To be stronger. Is there something on here? Yes. This is key B1. Search for 2F. I didn't I didn't find the other levels. Do I not need to do the other levels? Hmm. L1. L2, so I must have come from L1, so I need to go up to L2. You know what, guys? We might leave it there for today. Do you Ooh. sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Um, because it's already been an hour, and I'm pretty sure it, the next episode is going to be another hour long one, too. Just because I've got three more levels to go and find the boss and beat her. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one where we clear out the rest of this.